Think about where you are right now. Are you attracting the kind of woman you want? Or are you stuck in a circle of confusion wondering why she is not into you? You think you are doing everything right. Couple with the fact that you are a nice guy, agreeing with everything she says, just to keep the relationship at peace. But the whole doubting question is, where has that gotten you? Well, here is the harsh reality about it all. What Sigma women want is far more simple but yet very complicated to what you think they may be agreeable to. These women are looking for something real, something raw, something masculine. And that's exactly what we're going to dive into today. Without further ado. Number 1. Be a man of your word. The power of trust. This one is highly important. It's all about being a man of your word. Because honestly, if you can't be trusted to keep your word, why should she respect you? Why should anyone, for that matter? I understand life happens, things come up, and plans change. But if you are the kind of guy who is constantly bailing, constantly coming up with excuses, constantly breaking promises when needs arises, then stop it. It is not a good look at all. Think about it. Every time you break your word, you're sending the message that she can't rely on you. And if she can't trust you with the small things, how could she ever trust you with the big ones? How could she respect you when she can't even respect your own commitments? Not keeping your word makes you lose respect from everyone, not just the girl you want. And believe me, this aspect matters. If a girl you like holds you to a promise that you made her, you better keep it in check. Mess up once, she might shrug it off. But, do it twice, and she might still shrug it off. But do it three times, and she's a goner. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you need to be perfect. We all mess up from time to time, but when that happens, apologize sincerely, make it right, and strive to do better next time. Show her that you take responsibility for your actions and that you value her trust. Number 2. Be dominant. Hold up your place in the relationship. I'm not talking about being a dictator or certainly treating women poorly. It is not what we are here for. Dominance, in the right way, is a masculine trait that women secretly love especially Sigma females. What I mean by dominance is having the courage to take charge, to make decisions, to lead, to provide and protect when needs arises. Having the guts to take initiative, whether that's planning a date or guiding a conversation. Again, it's all about balance, so I really don't mean controlling or overpowering her, but showing her that you're not just a passenger in life. You're the damn driver. Don't get it wrong, dominance is not about telling her what to do or making all the decisions without considering her. That's not dominance, that's being an ass. True dominance is stepping up to the plate when the situation calls for it. Making decisions for the good of both of you. Leading with kindness and respect. However, when you're dominant, it communicates that you're capable. You're reliable. You're a leader. And let's face it, that's attractive. It gives her a sense of security. A feeling that she is with a man who knows what he's doing. A woman who will needs to feel safe with a man. And she will not feel safe with you if you don't have any idea of what you want to do or make any important decisions. Number 3. Have a masculine feature. Masculinity includes personality, appearance. If you want to know more about how to appear masculine, then the link to the video in the description below is you. But don't go freaking out if you don't look like Jason Momoa or Henry Cavill or Chris Hemsworth. That is not what it's about. It's not about having sharp features or a sharp jaw. It's about how you carry yourself, how you express yourself. When I say a masculine feature, I'm talking about the character glued into your personality features. It's the strength in your eyes, the honesty in your smile. It's the way that your face tells a story of who you are. If you're a man of sincerity, the words, I promise you will reflect in your eyes. If you're a man of strength, the power shows in your jawline. If you're a man of kindness, the selflessness shines in your smile. You don't need to be a model to have a masculine face. You just gotta be the best you can be. This is taking being comfortable in your own skin to a quite literal level. And guess what? Women love it. Number 4. Being a carefree. You might believe that women desire men that are constantly preoccupied, anxious, hardworking, and concerned with everything. That is so untrue. Stress is unpleasant. It makes you appear weak and namby-pamby. Men that are carefree are more attractive to women. Don't confuse carefreeness with being negligent, reckless, or even lazy. This conversation is not about that. Being carefree is not being bothered by the minor insignificant issues that life presents. It isn't allowing a traffic jam, an offensive remark, or a missed bus to spoil your day. This appeals to women because it shows resilience and strength. You will constantly face difficulties in life. Either you can learn to go along with the crowds or you can spend your days worrying about it. That is what being carefree is all about. Instead of complaining about how life doesn't always go your way, you learn to adapt. 
Moving forward, this mentality is encouraging. It gives energy. It demonstrates to a woman that you are not easily distracted by little things. It assures you that you are going to be able to withstand the road bumps. And that toughness is really alluring. When a Sigma woman sees a carefree man, she sees a leader. She sees a man who won't crumble under pressure. She sees a man who can navigate the storm while keeping a cool head. That is what women want. That is who they're attracted to. So, learn to let go of the small stuff. Learn to shrug off the minor inconveniences. Be the guy who laughs in the face of adversity instead of stressing about it. Your attitude in these situations reflects your ability to handle bigger challenges in life. Number 5. Be of sincere generosity rather than fake niceness. There are so many pretending decent men in the world, and most Sigma women as brilliant as they are can see straight through that. Men who are genuinely compassionate know what they seek, not acting friendly only to attract their attention. Sincere kindness is ingrained in you on a fundamental level. It's a characteristic of yours. It involves treating everyone with dignity and respect, not simply the lady you're attempting to charm. Faking niceness, on the other hand, is merely surface level, only to gain the approval of others or to receive something in return. Even if you don't believe what she says, you must agree with all she says, lavishing her with unnecessary, unintentional praise. In pretending to be someone whom you're not is a scam in the eyes of a Sigma woman. These women can smell this kind of fakeness from a mile away, and it's a turn-off. Being nice isn't about being a doormat. You're not there to agree with everything she says. You're there to be you. Let it be a part of your everyday life, and trust me, she'll notice. And she'll respect you for it. Number 6. Being independent. You're probably guessing what's next on my mind right now, that is, being independent, however. But let me tell you, you might not quite grasp the depth of what this means. I'm not just talking about living on your own or having a job. Being independent is actually more than that. It's about being emotionally and mentally mature. Think about it this way. Women are drawn to men who have their life together. Men who don't feel they need someone else to be complete in life. Men who have their own passions, hobbies, interests, friends. Men who can make decisions without constantly seeking approval from others. Men who can take care of themselves. Women find it attractive when a man doesn't need to be in a relationship to be happy. Why? Because it shows that outside of that relationship, you have a fulfilling life. You got something going on for you. And it's this very same life that she wants to be a part of. Again, being independent also means that you don't rely on her or anyone else for your own happiness. It means that you're in charge of your own life. You make your own decisions. You live by your own rules. This doesn't mean that you disregard others. It just means that you put your needs and your desires first. You take care of yourself, and you don't make sacrifices that go against your principles just to please her. When you're independent, you're not afraid to be alone. You're not needy, you're not desperate, you're not constantly saving validation from her or anyone else. And that, my friend, is so attractive. This sense of independence stands, sends out a message that you're strong, you're secure, you're stable, you're an oak tree. It shows that you can provide and protect. Number 7. Not being afraid to disagree. Women are bombarded with nice guys who agree with everything they say and do anything they ask. But being a guy who stands his ground, who has an opinion, who isn't afraid to voice his thoughts, that's like a breath of fresh air. You might be thinking that this means starting arguments. Are you pissing people off, or even just starting arguments just for the sake of starting arguments? The answer is no. Disagreement is not synonymous with disrespect. It means standing by your beliefs, even when they're not generally agreed upon. You need to have the guts to express your thoughts, even when they don't align with hers. When you're not afraid to disagree, it shows that you're confident. You've got a mind of your own, and you think you know what's right, and you're willing to at least argue for it. You won't back down instantly, and also that you're not just going along with everything she says to keep her happy. That's important. And guess what? That's attractive. It indicates that you're genuine, that you're for real. Can you even imagine how boring it is to have someone agree with you all the time? However, I'm not suggesting that you disagree for the sake of disagreeing, like I said, or that you engage in heated arguments all the time, or that you, your sole personality trait is that you are a devil's advocate. What you need is healthy, respectful disagreements. Listen to her point of view, but then present yours. Have a disagreement in the form of a dialogue, not a debate. Women are secretly attracted to men who can challenge them, who can stimulate their minds, who can engage them in meaningful and engaging discussions. Seriously, they love to be challenged, and they love challenging you. Number 8. No clinginess. The balance of need and space. Here's the deal. Nobody likes a clingy person. This isn't just about girls, it's a universal truth. 
So if you're the guy who's constantly blowing up her phone, always trying to be where she is, basically smothering her with your presence, you got to stop. And you need to stop now. You see, being independent and not being clingy go hand in hand. If you've mastered the first one, then this one should come easily to you. But I understand, sometimes emotions get the best of us. You like her, you want to be around her all the time. But there is a difference between showing interest and downright drowning her. You need to give her space to breathe, to live her life. You got to understand that she had a life before you came into the picture, and she's going to continue to have one even if you're not in the picture. Don't be the guy who expects her to drop everything for you. Respect her time, her space, her friends, her commitments, because believe it or not, showing her that you respect her life outside of that will earn massive respect in return. It shows that you're not a needy and insecure guy instead it paints a picture of a man who's confident, who knows that he's a great catch and doesn't need to be constantly validated. Another important point is to remember that relationships aren't about possession. They're about connection. She's not an object for you to possess. She's a person you're building connection with. This connection will be stronger if you both have the space to be your individual selves. So, pull back a bit. Give her room to miss you. Trust me, that is, that's really important. While you're going through the journey of self-improvement, you need the right guidance to efficiently level up in life. All the different aspects of self-improvement are brought together in the 0.1% blueprint. The name already gives it away. You're going to have access to all the information that'll drastically transform your life, since the gym plays a critical part. Number 9. Mastering Your Emotions Mastering Your Inner Game Everyone has emotions, but it depends on how you handle yours. That's what separate the boys from the men. Imagine this. You're out with her and some guy makes a pass at her. How do you react? Do you get all heated, fist clenched, ready to start a fight? That's a boy's reaction. If you want respect, you act like a man. You stay calm. You keep your cool. Show her that you're not threatened. Because the moment that you lose control of your emotions, you lose control of the situation, and then you lose her respect. And this goes for all emotions, not just anger. Sadness, frustration, fear, even happiness. You got to keep them all in check. Feel them, but do not let them rule you. A man who is controlled by his emotions is like a ship without a rudder, tossed about by the winds of life. That's not the kind of guy a woman respects. She wants someone who can navigate through the storms, not someone who caves in at the first sign of trouble. Number 10. Show humility. Humility is not just thinking less of yourself. It's recognizing your own worth while accepting that you're not the center of the universe. It is that chef's secret sauce to being respected. Nobody likes a guy who brags, especially not the whamming. If you're always puffing out your chest, trying to be a big shot, she's going to see right through you. And I guarantee you it's not a good look. Humility, it shows that you're comfortable with who you are. You don't need to prove anything to anybody. That kind of quiet confidence is a magnet for respect. You'll be drowning in that posse, as they say. So, the next time you're with her, try to dial back that ego a notch and listen more when you speak. Number 11. Be willing to change, adapt, and evolve. Finally, the last piece of the puzzle, the willingness to change. The truth is, the world is in constant motion. Everything changes, everything evolves, and if you're stuck in your ways, refusing to budge, refusing to grow, you're not going anywhere. And guess what? She'll see that. She'll see you stagnating while the world moves on. And that, my friend, is the quickest way to lose your respect. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm not telling you to change who you are. You don't gotta rebuild or bury yourself from the ground up. I'm talking about the ability to adapt, to learn from your mistakes, to take on new challenges and to constantly strive to be a better version of yourself. And that's the kind of change that'll command some respect. If she sees that you're willing to listen, to learn, to evolve, it speaks volumes about your character. It shows that you are not afraid of change. It shows that you're resilient. It shows that you're ambitious. And above all, it shows that you respect yourself enough to continuously work on becoming the best version of yourself. Respect isn't something that's handed to you on a silver platter. You gotta earn it. You gotta show her that you're not just any other guy. You're a man who values himself. You're a man who respects himself, and when you do that, she's gonna have no choice but to respect you back.